Hello everyone. Today we are taking part in the Edinburgh Torchlight Procession for the start of the Hogmanay celebrations. How are you all? Hope you're all happy, healthy and well out there. Yep, Kirsten and I have kindly been invited along to take part in the Hogmanay start celebrations, which is a torchlight, torchlight procession. You can see behind me, you can kind of see, I'll zoom in and show you properly in a second, but there's crowds all the way down the central uh, pathway at the meadows there already. Everyone's starting to collect their torches. There's a drum band playing right now that you can probably hear behind me right now as well. Um, we're going to get our torches in a separate area up there. We're going to see the, the pipe band setting off and then there's Viking setting off. I kind of not sure how everything's going to work. We've never done this before. We're both very excited. Um, but yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Okay, so you can probably still hear <laughs> the drums in the distance there. But if I zoom in a little bit, I'll go in again. There you go. You can see all the crowds all the way down that central reservation line of the meadows we're actually on the pathway right now heading up into town and then i think it heads to the royal mile and then finishes down by the side of edinburgh castle so that seems to be the route we're going and right now everyone's just you know getting hyped up by the drums although kirsten's got her starbucks so she's happy <laughs> we've got pipers beside us asking where they go they don't know where to go it might be a little bit difficult for you to hear me right now. I'm going to do my best. You can see there's a drum band over there. And there's all the crowds getting ready. All getting in line. They're in three lines, actually. That'll start to all filter into one parade. And then head up that way. Everything's starting to get... Well, started, really. We've got a couple of Vikings here with the first couple of flames. A guy hitting me behind with a bike. So we're kind of in the pre-build-up right now. Drummers have kind of finished. You can see in the distance, I couldn't quite get to it, but there's fire entertainers, you know, throwing fire and twisting it and all that sort of things. I don't know if you can see, but I will put the footage in here again. There's three long rows of crowds of people, all with their torches ready to be lit and start walking. So they kind of let one row go, and then they let another row go, and then they let another row go, and everyone just starts marching along. Now we're going to head up a little bit where there's an area where we can get things where you can hear there's a DJ and things behind getting the crowd all hyped up and getting them all ready. Um, we're going to head up and we're going to watch the start of everything. I think there's a pipe band at the beginning and there's Vikings um, and possibly some more of the fire entertainers, I'm not sure. And then the crowds of, of torchlight parade people will start to wander up as well. We're going to grab a couple of torches and we're going to join as well, which we're very excited about. Now we're quite a bit away, we're probably halfway up the path right now, so you can see we're quite a distance away. I'm going to try to zoom in again. You can see that entire path there is just filled with crowds ready with torches to be lit that are all going to go marching. It's a lot of people. So we're here, we're ready, we've got our unlit torches ready to go um, and we're about 10 minutes away from the start. So a lot of people starting to gather. We're at a separate area with everyone where we're joining once everything sort of gets up this far. And then apparently they will light our torches just as we head in. <laughs> and then we're all lit.
and now we're traveling beside the Vikings. Look at this. The Vikings seem to have way, way, way better, bigger torches than us. Look at those. I tell you, the heat that's coming off this is incredible and there's crowds lining the streets as we all walk past. So as we're walking along with the Vikings with our torches, this is generally the, the kicking off of Hogmanay here in Edinburgh, which is a four day celebration. Starting today, on Friday the, uh, what is it, the 28th? No, 29th, 30th, 30th, what? yeah, the 29th. There's gonna be four days worth of events leading up to New Year's Day. We're gonna be at some of it. Hopefully you'll join us for all of it. Right now, the Vikings have got way better flames than us. Look at them. You can see there's crowds all the way down the street as we start to march towards the Royal Mile and then to Edinburgh Castle. This is us heading up towards the Royal Mile now. Just to give you a reference where we are, there's Frank and Sainz Pub as we head along with the Vikings. There's so many people just filming either side. It's so busy. The atmosphere's great. There's a lot of random people that are nothing to do with the parade that have just jumped on. But the atmosphere's great. hit the Royal Mile, the crowds are bigger, the Vikings are still with us and everyone's got their cameras out as we head up towards Edinburgh Castle. The smiles of the crowd because everyone's walking past with the, the flames as well, it's brilliant. This is us on the Royal Mile now, Gladstone's land right behind us and the crowds are huge. There's thousands of people, all with torches, all heading up towards Edinburgh Castle. We've passed the castle, heading down the side of the castle now at the top of the Royal Mail, just by the Tron car, uh, the, sorry, the hub. Look at all the crowds. So many people with torches. There's literally thousands of people with torches this year as we head behind the pipe behind and the Vikings. Very cool, because we've got to stay behind the pipe band the whole way. So the whole march has been soundtracked by a pipe band with another piper up there as well. There's even people leaning out the windows waving at us all as we march with our torches. I'm going to be honest, marching up the Royal Mile with a flaming torch in hand, I've no idea why, but it's making me feel very patriotic. <laughs> That's us coming to the end of the route. And I tell you, that was a lot of fun. Just marching along, torch in hand. Along with loads of other people who are just in such a great mood. Everyone's having such a good time as we all wander about. These torches, you know, they last a while. They last a while. And they're wax. But it's so much fun. If you ever get the chance to come and try this, I mean, it's just unique. You know what I mean? A nice big torchlight parade through the heart of Edinburgh. What more could you ask for? Look how many people, and we're right at the front of the parade. That's the pipe bands and the Vikings there. This goes back, in fact, probably with the amount of people that are in the parade, as we're coming to the end of it here, because we were right at the front, there'll be people right at the back who are just getting started on the walk. So many people. We came down to the, the west end now side of the castle underneath. That's the castle right up there, which you might just be able to see. You know, it smells like a barbecue. Funny that. And then as we come to the end, it's time to dip in the, in the flames in the water. As we dip our flame and finish our torchlight parade. And that was it. You can see there's still some 
Uh, more celebrations over there at the, at, the, at the finish line, essentially. I think the pipe, pipe bands and big flames are still playing at the end here. Just to show you, these are the cards that you have at the bottom of your torch to kind of protect your hand from the dripping wax. And you can see all the wax that was dripping down as we were walking along. But that was a lot of fun. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Definitely worth doing if you ever get the upper chance to take it. So there you have it, Torchlight Parade. That's Edinburgh Hogmanay officially kicked off. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned, because we're gonna have some more Hogmanay stuff as well. But until next time, bye humans. <laughs>